Hey guys, today we're going to show you the moon shade awning. Moon shade. Hey guys, today we've got the Moonshade awning. We're going to show you how it sets up, how we are going to use it on the hiker, mm -hmm. and uh, it's it's kind of neat. It's a little bit of a modular system. If you're looking for a very economical awning, this is a good alternative. This is something to consider. Uh, it's nine by seven, and I think it definitely will work for a lot of people. Let's go take a look at it. All right, here are my options for the way that we can mount this awning. Um, it comes with suction cup where the awning can actually clip onto this part right there. They have it that you've got a Velcro strap that you can put around the different corners if you need to do that. They've got magnets. Um, then they have a pole that goes from one corner to the other and you can mount the magnets. We found that this is actually what's gonna work best for us. In the magnet kit, that is an add-on, right? That doesn't yes. come with the kit. Yeah, the other ones come with the kit, but we did add and buy the magnets as an extra. And these things have a piece of cardboard in between them. Why? Because they are very strong, so you don't want to actually put them bottom to bottom because it could be hard to get them apart. But yeah, look at that. And they came with a word of a caution that this could be a pinch point, so watch your fingers when you're working with the magnets. Yep. Because of the way that the hiker kind of slants forward, we actually are going to mount this on here. This knight's tie actually connects to um, the awning itself, so it gives us a little bit more flexibility. Watch this. So it sticks pretty firmly. Yeah, it does, definitely. And this is our changing room here, guys. 230 changing room, so we're mounting them to those poles. And they said they have to be on the top, they cannot be on the side. Because originally we thought we had put them um, vertically like this and have the pole go that way. But when we got the magnets, they said it needs to be horizontal. So we've decided to put it on the top of our crossbars. So it comes in a nice stuff sack. That you can actually put everything back in it. There's plenty of room, it's not a struggle trying to get it back in. So it's oversized. <laughs> yes, that's the right word. That's the word. So what is that you got there? So because of the way our roof is curved, this is what's going to go through that magnet and those little hoops so that we can keep the awning straight. Okay. Perfect. Good. All right. So the poles that do an X pattern over the top of the awning are kind of like your tent stakes where it has the or st tent poles that have the shock cord in the middle of it so it goes together real quick and easy two poles for the corners of the of the shade that go away from the trailer like I mentioned it's got these little snap buttons whoops I mentioned earlier it has these snap buttons so that you can make it taller to adjust to the height that you need the problem with these that we've run into with other awnings is that you start to pull it up and you're like, oh no, am I far enough? Am I lined up right? How am I going to get this lined up? Well, we found out that they've got a little white line that tells you that you're lined up in the right spot. So you just pull it and you should end up hitting the right button because this one, the next one up, has the white line in it. Okay, so got our two support poles, got them crisscrossed and we've got the attachment points super simple easy and it's got pockets to put the pole in now from there what's next wendy all right so this pole needs to then be attached to the corners um so for some people depending on what their roof structure is 
they could use this little clip here to attach to their awning onto whatever their vehicle is. Yep. But because of the fact that we have this curved roof, we had to modify it and they give you the stuff you need to modify it. So that's where this pole comes in that we have. So we put it through one of the loops already. Then on the side of the awning here, they have a fabric loop. That helps just give the, the whole awning a little bit more support. So got it through that loop. Then we go through the magnetic loop. Then on the corner, it's got an eyelet. And so you just push it in there. Push it through the eyelet, okay. Doing the suction cup mount here. There. So putting the pole into the grommet can sometimes be a chore. Um, and the fabric can stretch really, really tight. So we found another tip from a YouTuber for putting the tip in. It's just to pull the tip out, which has shot cord in it, and bend it to a 90 degree, feed the tip into the grommet, and then have it snap back in the pole. Makes your job a lot easier. Probably don't need to have that part, but we did it just because. Well, that way the pole can't just start moving side to side. It gives it a spot to yep, that's stay true. sturdy. All right. Now, all we got left is our two support poles. It's pretty easy and so self-explanatory. Okay. Got this corner. Again, you have a little eyelet that this can go through. Then you can adjust this to the height that you need. And it's kind of self-standing at this point, isn't it? Yeah. Now, if it's going to be real windy, I would definitely tie it out. So at first we thought these were for attaching guidelines. And what we found from watching another YouTuber's video, that these are little clips they added to keep the poles from coming loose. So this fabric now cannot raise off the tip of a pole. You can see this just adds a little bit of structure to it and keeps it from lifting. So Moonshade, if you're watching this, it's not in the directions. We only found it from watching another video. My other question for you is that small piece of rope. How does that work? Oh, if you had yeah. a van, a van sidewall, they kind of advertise that it could be used on the side of a van, but a van could be really tall. Mm -hmm. So how do you work away and around that? So they have directions and a way, because if this is going way up taller than what you can reach, it's gonna be hard to open that to be able to get that around. So you can't actually open the carabiner unless you have a really tall ladder or something right. like that. So, cause that needs to open to be able to get around this little circle. Sure. So they give you directions on how to rig it up that from down below, you could pull this string and that would open the carabiner so that you could be able to open it from a distance when you can't actually reach the carabiner yourself. So by pulling this, it opens it up. So in our setup, it's not really necessary because we're using the night eyes and this pole. So it's a different setup, but it gives you options. It's nice, it has a nice amount of coverage. Um, one of the biggest things so the first thing that I'm noticing is how wide it is. It's nine foot, which is great, um, but you definitely need to take that into consideration of where you're gonna set your trailer up on your site um, because you need to consider that you have nine foot on the other side of the trailer versus just, you know, a foot or two. And then when we're putting it on, we really had to consider, okay, Matt wants his door covered, so if it's rainy or kind of drizzly that he's not gonna be getting out in the rain. Um, so when we open the door, about here, so it's open most of the way, we've got that covered. So the other thing we were considering with the placement was the fact that we've got this changing room here. Um, we've always thought about, okay, if it's raining, well, that changing room's not going to work so well for us anymore because we don't have anything over top of it. Um, so again, with that bar that's here, that kind of gives us some flexibility when Matt's not trying to get out the trailer, that we can use that to cover the changing room. Um, so 
the ability for us to move that left to right is basically based on the magnet kit, correct? Correct. If we didn't have that magnet kit, it wouldn't be quite as fluid to move it back and forth. Um, it would make it a little bit harder for us to mount it because we'd be mounting it underneath our changing room. Um, so by having that magnet kit, we're able to get it up and over our changing room. With the options that come standard in the package, would you recommend the magnets or would you stick with just the suction cup kit and try that first? What are your thoughts on that? I think I would probably go with the upgrade to the um, magnet mounts for a couple reasons. One, with the way that the hiker kind of curves to the front, it's going to make it hard to get a nice level um, awning. And by the biggest reason, I think, is because we end up putting it on top of the bar rack system. So it actually lifts the awning up about six inches. That's one of the questions we keep on getting asked with our current awning is, how tall is the awning? You know, am I going to have to duck to get underneath it? So by doing this up above the bar rack, it gives you a little extra height so you don't have to duck to get in it. So if the awning was just off the top of the trailer, we'd be about this height right here. By using the magnet mount, I gain all the way up to here. So we've got probably a good six inches or more height added by using that magnet mount on top of the crossbars. But here standing in front of it, I've got some decent height there. One of the other things that I like about using the magnet mount is that it gives you some flexibility to move it kind of back and forth. Um, you're not set in just one spot with the way that you'd have it with the original mounts that come with the actual awning. You think it would blow away just having the magnets? I mean, is the strength of the magnets gonna oh. be enough? The magnets are super strong. They're not going anywhere. All right, so as we're looking around, we notice there's a bunch of little um, tie-off points. Um, so there's one on each of the four sides. There's four of them kind of halfway up. And then the very top, there's one in the middle that we're able to hang a dome light from. So it works out really well, because as you know, Matt loves his lights, to be able to add some more lighting to this area. So as you can see, the awning does actually work really well with this shade awning. Um, it covers majority of the changing room. So if it would be raining, we can get coverage and stand up and change without having to do the shimmy in the trailer or go to the bathhouse. So one thing they provide you is these aluminum stakes. The one con that I see is they're black. Uh, I know they probably want to match it with the aesthetics of everything. I prefer brighter colored stakes. Um, they provide you plenty of, of cordage, and the cordage does have a tracer in it, so you can see it at nighttime, which is a nice touch. The one thing we had opening the package, and something to consider, is your adjustment points here. These, the cordage was fed improperly, and we could not figure out for the life of us why we couldn't tighten it up. So that was just a minor thing we had to do, so if you receive one of these, just make sure you check your, your locks. These are lockouts. They can slide up and down to lock your cord. So you're probably wondering our final thoughts on this awning. For the $325 price at the time of the shooting, it is an excellent value, I think, for an awning. I think this is a great option for somebody that maybe purchased a hiker trailer or a teardrop and has a unique situation with a roof. You just need to add a little bit of shade. This is an excellent option. I'm really curious to see how it holds up in a rainstorm and some wind conditions, but I think the two-pole support system is an excellent idea. It's going to shut off rain real well. I don't see any problems with that. I didn't care for the black stakes. Um, I prefer brightly colored ones. You never know when you're going to lose those at the campsite. It has a multitude of mounting points. It's definitely a pro. The magnet kit is a very nice touch. And I like the little clasps they added to the corners for the carabiners to add support so the fabric can't fly off the, the uh, mounting legs. If you're interested in purchasing this awning, we have a $30 discount code down in the description below. So if you add this moonshine awning to your kit, this is gonna help you get out and do some camping. We'll see you next time, guys. Don't forget to subscribe so you can win this jackery.